Hi, I'm Andrew. Welcome to my channel. This is my first ever Sims build that I've recorded and edited for YouTube, and I'm excited to do more of them because this was really fun. For those who don't know, I'm a streamer on Twitch at DrewDrop26. I stream five days a week at 7 p.m. Pacific, uh, and I stream mostly Sims and variety games. Today I'm making a three-bedroom, three-bathroom house. It's not base game, but I do plan on doing some base game stuff in the future. I like the challenge that comes with doing base game homes because it forces me to be creative uh, and not rely on items from packs that I uh, usually rely on, like a double door from Seasons that I love to use all the time. This build will be available in the gallery, and I'll also put in the description below what packs I used. So right now you can see I'm working on just the basic floor plan and layout, and now I've moved on to the roofs. Um, I really hate doing roofs, but I also kind of love it. It's weird. I really find it challenging because I'm not very good at visualizing or understanding space. Um, like, I haven't figured out exactly how to make a floor plan that will allow for a roof that doesn't suck. But I'm sure that's all something that'll come with practice. So because of that, I uh, make myself do the roofs at the beginning part of the build process. I've had situations where I'll make like a whole floor plan and do all that and then have to add a roof at the end and it's harder to fix the mistakes and it kind of looks terrible in the end, in my opinion. Uh, so that's why I make myself do it first. Okay, then I usually will paint the house and do the windows after I've done the roof. And I find that there's not a whole lot of good selection of paints to pick from, but I try to get creative. Sometimes I do like two palettes for the outside of the house on this one, I decided to stick with just one. Uh, the house was too close to the front of the lot because, like I said, not good with size and predictions and calculations, so I had to move this whole front part back so that I could add these stairs. I also put some stairs in the back on the deck and doing a little adjusting and adding some stones to these pillars. Okay, so you may notice that now there are magically windows. I cut that footage out of the video because I spend way too much time looking at windows and figuring out which ones I want before I start even placing. Honestly, it takes me so long. I figured it was just better to cut it because it's so boring, like, I didn't even want to rewatch it, so. And now I'm just picking a bunch of different, like, floors for the front part and um, adding some of these pillars so that it looks nice. And now I'm going to choose a fence. I never used this fence, but I decided to go with this one because I thought it kind of matched with like the lattice that I was going with and the style of the house. Uh, it's a little little modern, but not too modern. Um, and then I went with this kind of bit for the front. All right, now you're gonna see I add this fence. I really like this fence. Uh, I use it all the time. The only issue I have with the fence is that sometimes it'll just make like the posts in weird spots. I've actually been playing The Sims since about 2001 or 2002, and it's kind of amazing how I used to just totally ignore building for the most part because I was really impatient and nothing that I made turned out very good. But recently I found all these Sims builds on YouTube and I was just like, have gotten into it and I really love it. It's a lot of fun and lets me be really creative. All right, so now that we did the outside, it's time to get started on doing the inside. And pretty much the first thing I like to do is figure out where I'm gonna put the stairs. Normally, I put them in the front entry. This is really common in America uh, for floor plans. And the reason for this is because bedrooms in the United States are legally required to have a window to the outdoors. Uh, this is in case of a fire or something and the occupants need to sneak out. Um, they have to have a window. So because of this, all bedrooms must be placed against like exterior walls. So to make the best use of the space, you kind of want the staircase to end up in like the middle area of your upstairs. So now I'm just adding some walls. You're going to see here, I'm going to add a two by one room right there that's gonna be where a closet will go and that's because I have get together which gives you closets and I know you can just stick them against the wall or whatever but I think that looks really bad because you can see the uh, space above it so what I like to do is put on BB move objects and 
just stick it inside of the wall there. It's still a fully functional closet, but it just ends up looking a lot nicer. It's also cool because I can get rid of some weird spaces in the houses. So now I'm just placing doors because I just want to get them placed. So because I'm just shit at planning and remembering anything, what I like to do is I like to place linoleum on any floor that's going to be a bathroom, a laundry room, or the kitchen. And I like to put carpet down anywhere there's going to be a bedroom, a den, or a living room, or something like that. It's just like, so I can remember which room is what, because I'm just not able to remember all the time. I then uh, put in a bunch of just white paint just to get paint on the walls, and then I'm throwing in a bunch of lights to make it so I can see what the hell I'm doing. So now we're working on the kitchen, and I started with this idea of a double stove, but I didn't end up keeping it because I didn't like the way it looked in terms of what I was going for in this build, so I just uh, stuck to the single stove. I also have the fridge over to the right. I normally like to have my fridges against a wall, but I didn't this time, and that's because later you'll see I I'm gonna solve that problem with a uh, cupboard that'll come down. I don't know, I just like having the fridge nestled into something. So for anybody who's seen my stream and or knows me, uh, you know that I have a specific color palette that I like, and I I tend to just stick with that color palette, and the color palette tends to be like grays, blacks, uh, nice browns, blue, uh, that kind of stuff. I'm really into like a cool palette. I just think that a cool color palette looks better in 99.9% .9 of situations. So that's just my personal preference. And that's why, like everything I do, ends up looking like that. Also kind of embarrassing side note, it took me forever to figure out how to change the way the cupboards and cabinets looked. You can see here that I'm placing windows in the kitchen because the windows that I had were too big. I just really don't like putting windows in my kitchens because I feel like Sims doesn't like have good options for it. But I decided that this, this house needed maybe some windows. I like to place them on the inside and then look outside to make sure that it doesn't look terrible. I also like to add a hood for the range and fire alarms and sprinkler system. A lot of people will install the alarms and totally forget about this sprinkler system, including me, until very recently. <laughs> That's because if you're like me and you've been playing Sims since like 2000, you know that the uh, fire department's supposed to show up when your alarm goes off, but in Sims 4, there is no fire department. Nobody shows up when your house catches on fire. So it's like, what do you do? They have this security, they have the sprinkler system there, and it's supposed to be placed along with your alarms and it will make water come out like sprinklers and that will like douse the fire but I didn't I didn't even know about that until very recently so I now try to place those I also have a friend who's really really passionate about fire safety and fire code in buildings so she told me to make sure that I put a fire alarm in every single room of my hundred babies house so now I just put fire alarms in most rooms of the house. And here we go making the bathroom. The bathrooms are my favorite thing to make in The Sims 4. I have a couple available in the gallery. I like that you can just make a bathroom out of a 2 by 3 and it looks just like a real life house bathroom. I struggled a lot with this master bath. Uh, I cut out a lot of the footage because it was just minutes and minutes and minutes of me not knowing where the hell to put anything. Uh, so this is kind of how it ends up settled and let's see we put the toilet paper right there I love using the toilet paper rolls I like to put them on the side of the cabinets but that requires putting in a partial wall and then deleting it and sometimes it's a pain so I just didn't do it this time also like putting in these big mirrors you can see I deleted those one thing that I don't really do in my builds um, when I put them in the gallery, I don't tend to furnish them beyond the kitchen and bathrooms and the laundry room because I kind of do it like the way a real house would be if you were to go. Th those things are already part of the house. It's not really furnishing like The Sims likes to pretend is. Um, and I didn't do any actual furnishing in this video because it was just going to end up making the video too long. 
but I'm going to make one where I furnish this house. I usually furnish it as if it's being staged, like at a house showing. So you'll see that, and then that'll be how it's available on the gallery. There'll be an unfurnished version, so this one, and then also a version where it's staged. And anyway, that's the house. Please check out the description below for where to find it in the gallery. Be sure to subscribe, and don't forget to check me out on Twitch. I stream Sims on Mondays and Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Pacific, currently working on the 100 Baby Challenge, and we're on Baby 71. So hope to see you then. Have a good day.